Metro TV. Let's look at some of the headlines that we are tracking at this hour. Jasprit Brumra and Harshad Patel back into India's squad for the T20 World Cup. Mohammad Shami among the standbys. Pacers Jasprit Brumra and Harshad Patel are back into India's squad for the T20 World Cup after missing out on Asia Cup due to injuries. As BCCI announces 15 member squad for the T20 World Cup. Coming to Sonali Kogut murder case, the Khap Mahapanchayat has demanded a CBI probe into the incident and has threatened to launch mass agitation. Currently, the investigation of Sonali Pogat murder case is in the hands of the Goa police. Not being satisfied with the investigation, the family has demanded a CBI probe. A letter written by Queen Elizabeth II cannot be opened until 2085. A letter which was written by Queen Elizabeth II is locked in a Queen Victoria building in Sydney, in Australia, and it cannot be opened until 2085. It was written in the year November 1986 and addressed to the people of Sydney, but it is locked and cannot be opened. Even the Queen's personal staff is unaware of the contents of the letter. ISRO is developing intelligent satellites, says Chairman S. Somnath. ISRO is developing intelligent geostationary communication satellites that can be reconfigured on by changing frequencies and bandwidths according to a customer's profile. French Foreign Minister is on a three-day visit to India from September 13 to September 15. The French Foreign Minister Catherine Caluana is on a three-day visit to India from Tuesday onwards and she will meet her counterpart S. Jay Shankar and discuss various issues of regional and international importance. She'll also travel to Mumbai to discuss and meet with the industry experts. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and RGD Chief Lalu Prasad are likely to meet Sonia Gandhi once she returns from abroad to bring together the idea of a united opposition in order to take on BJP in the 24 general elections. Various regional parties have pointed out the retreating footprints of Congress across various states in India, but the Bihar Deputy Chief Minister feels that Congress is still the largest opposition party in India and there is still a possibility of a united front in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.